Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now, this is a redo of the thing that I made before because, because of the issues with my hand and the fact that I want to make something different with this this time. Actually, I'm th I still haven't got what I'm going to put down the bottom here, but I think I'm going to have to, there'll be a word or something. I'm going to worry about that later. Now, I've ironed all these on here, okay? It's a sort of an odd, sort of the same thing as what I was trying to do before, but the other one was too big. I have to have something that I can reach with my hands so it's not too, um, you know, hard for me to handle because things are not good for me still. And this little thing is going to be actual something that I have the idea for anyway. So I've got the plan. I've got the plan, which is a really good thing to do. You have the plan. The little bird coming off the side here, I stuck him on there, and he may be in a seam or a, or a part. Now, everything's ironed on there. Well, these are bits, these bits aren't because they're, um, anyway. but these are all ironed on. This is not. Okay, so now I'm going to sew it, but I want to put a, a bit of um, in, um, embroidery on it, you know, I want a bit of embroidery on it, so, so it looks really good. Um, you know, I want to make it <laughs> something really nice, okay? So, <clears throat> and like I said, I've got the idea of what I want to do with it. I may have bought this um, piece here down a little bit far. It's, it's stuff off it. This bit here might have come down a bit far. I think that actually moved when I was trying to fasten that down, but I'm going to keep it. Um, I'm going to be able to do something... I add a bit if I got add a bit of material underneath there to to save that because I, I really want to do that now um of course these here in on with pins I'm going to put this on first because this is a piece that I've got off of old embroidery and um, a bit of applique and because that's what I'd, this is applique of course um, I do have to put the stems in and I've got to work out where I want them to go. Now, I know that that bit there goes on to here because I cut it apart. I went I went, went wrong, you know, because I thought I was making a mistake with what I was doing, but I really wasn't. So let's just put a little bit there to fasten that to, righto? Because we can. I'm going to cut that bit out from under there first. I'm going to try and do some fancy stitches on here too if I can. But this I want to put down like it is. And this blue, this yellow bit was over here, but I'm, have, I'm having to move it because, I don't know, it just wasn't, didn't look, I've got no idea what I'm going to say about it, but it wasn't quite what I was envisioning. So I can put it, you know, just like somewhere else. But anyway, let's get some green thread. And I did keep a bit of that out because I knew I was going to use the green but I did tidy up my table but then I've also done another video and I've done this um, you know working out what I'm going to do here with this one now <clears throat> so that made a bit of a, a bit of stuff about <clears throat> okay now we're in Australia it's a nice day today as far as I can see out there not going out in it though it's Sunday I can look out the window, see the trees in the sky, again, had a really good sleep last night, and the night before, and the night, I think three nights now I've been, oh, sorry, <laughs> it's exciting, isn't it, it's exciting, now I want to put that, well see it doesn't actually have to go there does it, so this is the piece that they've sewn it on there with, and I don't have to use it, Nobody said I do. And so I've got... Um, now, this would be something that's sort of hanging down, isn't it? So, therefore, it would need a stem that goes around, maybe down behind there and down there. Okay. Where's my, my pencil? My pencil... I put it in here this morning. I think I could have did that. I might have made a mistake. I'd better put it back at. Yeah, I did too. Never mind. Nobody panic. So, so this is going to be 
here we're going to come down around there underneath it and down here a bit all right hang that one on there which out you can't get him by the beak and then I can have me a little leaf <coughs> here getting close to the edge I can put a piece of fabric around there I'm not going to worry about that the reason I've got it small like I said is because I need it I need that for my own um, self you know because I can't <coughs> hold on to anything too big that was happening even before I've hurt my arm anyway because of the um, I'm going to do a stem stitch because I do like that I might add something to it then. But this is easy to do a stem stitch. You just go down and back through there to where you come out. Down and back through there to where you come out. Hubby just cooked a cake. It just came out of the oven, I heard. <laughs> he said he wanted to cook a cake, so um, I think they're a bit too big, them, them stitches. Yeah, for what I'm after, that's too big. Sorry about that. Off to a flying start, aren't we? But look, I've got to do this. It just has to be done, you know. I want to have to... I do want to do the... They just look too big. Maybe I need a thinner thread. Well, that's a good idea. Get a thinner thread. And I do have one in amongst all this somewhere. I know I do. I've changed the... When I went to put stuff away today, I just could not... So thick as that one. I think it might be the same. Could be a bit thinner. It might be a bit thinner. I didn't put them all in the right boxes. I was just <laughs> in one of them places, you know, where I've got to put this stuff away. Yep, here we go. It's a nice thinner one that I like to use. <coughs> Did have a little bit of a struggle last night with me. Um kept on waking up, making bad noise. <laughs> oh dear, it was upsetting me so bad. I just, I don't know. I've got to wait till the 9th of November. And then I hope, for goodness, it's going to help it. I really do. I hope that's in the right place, because it, it's not ironed on or anything. It's, I, didn't even, I didn't even sew it on there. This might help if I pin it, keep it in the right place. Once I stitch this on, it should be right. This might be better. This is not as thick. This might be nicer. Yeah, it will be too. And you haven't got a big um, great big thread there because I don't want that. I will be putting a little something. I want to do as much, a fair bit of embroidery besides applicating it down. Um, I want to have a bit of embroidery on it. It's just um, wanting to do some of this collage sort of thing for ages. And when I did that other one the other day, I pulled it undone, and then everybody told me how great it was now they're looking for it. And I'm sorry, but I took it apart. I couldn't. It wasn't, I don't know what the reason was. I can't honestly say what I thought was wrong with it. I just, maybe I thought it might have been too big. I don't know. I can put, do smaller bits, I suppose, and put them together, can't I? You can see what I'm doing here. I know, that's a bit down there now. I'll work out where these go first before I put anything else on the on the actual piece. So that goes underneath it, doesn't it? We did that so it'd go underneath there. Look more natural, do you think? <laughs> yeah. All I've got to do is press that oh, spray that and it'll come off there. Okay. So that's going to go there. I'll end this off first. 
I'm just doing this on a piece of linen that was off the side of a um, tablecloth or something. I don't know what it was. It was a nice piece. Uh, now I want the leaf here. So I'm just going kind to of cut this back a bit further. I don't know whether I want to leave the, the green trim around or put my own thread around there. While well, I got this threaded with the green, I'm going to put the leaf on. It goes there. And the leaf will go here. Could it go underneath? No, we're not going to put it underneath it at all. Are we going to use that? That is a thing. The pink still on there off that bit. I'll cut that apart. Still got pink under there, look. If I can get that out. Piece of pink material from that other flower. There we go. Nearly got you. I've actually still got more of these bits. Too, it's already been applied, but so I want that bit to go there. And a little bird can be look like he's picking at it or something. Even a bit of dinner. There could be a something on there that he wants. I might put that there. Not too bad. It's big. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, put it there, Sonia, because it does look all right. It really does. I'm going to go around the outside of this, fasten it down. Have I got a knot in that? No. As I do the blanket stitch, I might just you know, do a, a straight stitch around the edge of it. Or do I want some blanket stitch? I don't know. Can't decide. I will put a blanket stitch around there, but I might have to do it in, a, in stab stitches. Because I mightn't be able to get hold of it. It's a bit thick, that fabric. which means I'm going to have to go down there, right, get these two pieces at different lengths, please. Oops. Let me back out. Come up through here. And hold that down. Okay. Mouthful of water, please. It's very higgly piggly with that white on it, doesn't it? And I'm I'm going to be a fuss pot and I'm going to take that off because I don't want the white on there. I really don't. Might even have to put a different leaf on there. Let me come back to it another time. Right, uh, that can go. I don't want that on there. I don't like the... <laughs> this one I will use, I hope. I'm going to put something around the edge that is cream so it works with the pink. Or the white that's already there, eh? Let's just do that. What's this colour? And if you only been an ordinary thread and I'm going to fasten it on because I don't want to go around the edge of it at all, I'm just going to tack it down. And it can stay there nicely if I do it properly, can't it? The way I was doing the leaf just didn't work for me, so I'm going to, you know, think about it and maybe put it back later. 
Right, so let's just sew this on here for a minute. I need to take me a second, I think. Skim them around here quickly, so it's not all jumping around all over the place on you. Sorry about that, I didn't mean to hit you with <laughs> Is that a camera in the right place? It's really close to me. <laughs> but that's good, because okay, so you can hear what I'm saying, I suppose. <clears throat> this piece of blue beautiful blue linen material too I got that none of this has been bought new this is all this is all re purposed all this stuff over here okay this is what you can do with st things that you buy from your thrift shops and your on them hauls that you do being having all the goodies and you can make really nice things can't you you know you can make really nice things <clears throat> that'll do we got a hold of it. I'm sure when I stitch this up here, that'll make it a bit more secure. That'll certainly annoy me. <clears throat> I'll put this around here. I'll have to try. Don't know why I keep picking up, picking up this cotton reel, but I do. I keep using this same one all the time. Okay. So now we're going to do this. Just see, get some done before. These things don't. These things take time, and they're fun. And I'm really looking forward to continuing on with this. I mean, it's the other one I wasn't so so sure about. And I'm thinking I can pull this off here, and I don't know if I want to cut it back down that far. I could do. Could do. Could take that off. Yep, just for today, the and then see what I'm going to do with it later. All right. And there's a piece of cotton going through there, so I'm going to, have to pull that out. Take it off. Because I like that bit, but I don't want to over. I don't want to do too much because what I'm going to make with it, it doesn't need to be that big. This is it. This is the size. Yep, that's it. That's what size I want it to be. Now, we're going to do this. That's going to go over the edge of there to give it, you know, some sort of thingy. I'll come up through the back of here. Got a knot, good. And go down behind there. And I could probably do these little tacking stitches around the edge. You know, a few little straight stitches, and that is going to hold it on and hopefully look all right. And leave the bit of embroidery that's been done by somebody because you know what, a lot of people, there's a lot of these about, these doily things with this pattern on it. Heaps of them out there. Seen lots of people with them. <laughs> That's alright. We're repurposing it all, aren't we? Um, the, the, the birds here might have been on a piece of fabric. They come off a piece of fabric that was gifted to me, one of them, and one of them I bought, I think, but they, these two were both on the same piece. That bit there's off a, off a skirt, a bit of flower. It's nice, and this snip that bit out there. All right, where am I now? Okay, because if you try to do a blanket stitch around here, because it's thick, it's not going to be easy. You don't have to do the stab stitches anyway, like this. You're going to have to come up and so we're going to go around here. I've stuck that needle in myself and it, it sort of gives an itchy feeling, doesn't it? <laughs> it's scratching me to pieces here. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> Sonia, more hurry, less speed. I cleaned this part of this table down today so I could make a, a good go or something. And what have I done? Caught up stuff in it. What's this here? Bit of pink cotton. And belongs on the back of that. Okay, stay there then. The 
this makes me happy right when you got the right thing going it's good I think my hubby's getting a bit better isn't that terrible it's taken him a long time but he's his lungs aren't very good because when he was young he was always he was always in hospital with pneumonia he spent a fair few fair while in there when he was a kid so he's been he's had it once I think since he's been with me and then one time he had Quincy which is a really bad thing in your throat oh it was bad and uh, the doctor was going to lance it and oh, we said, no, we're going to get a second opinion. By gee, then he got something and fixed it for him, which was really weird because they don't do that anymore, this lancing thing. And it was really strange how that doctor just <laughs> decided that he'd fix him and he did. Like, you know what I mean? He didn't want him to get a second opinion, so he did a different way. But anyway, so he was in there a fair bit. He was always impressed about how he ate nothing but mashed potato for a week and lost a fair bit of weight actually <laughs> just all I thought he could eat was mashed potato let's <clears throat> fit him in that in hospital he doesn't seem too bad now he seems a bit better in himself but he he still has a bit of issue with his throat but anyway <clears throat> Oh, my leg. Hang on a second. I'll just move the leg. <laughs> I come in here and I have a terrible habit of sitting in the same place for too long and not and not um, moving, and that's not good because when I go to move, everything's seized up and it doesn't want to go anywhere. It doesn't. I think this looks going. This is going to look really good. I mean, I'm impressed. I am. I like it. Got a lot of bits of work in the in the what's the name of it? <laughs> oh dear, I was going to put a pin in that, but I can't because it's. But I'm nearly round here now. We will fine. I'll stitch it down a minute. I'll put a pin in. It'll catch everything. It will. I don't want that to happen. Need to get over closer there, I don't know. Is that all right? <clears throat> I think I've been a bit of some creme on my hands. I haven't been too worried about because I've been all right, but I suppose it's a <laughs> the weather's going to get hot and dry and nasty, and so it's as my hands, I suppose. really weird. I don't like putting cream on because I don't want to get it on me sewing. <laughs> it's, it's a bit silly. Or in my bed. <laughs> I suppose there's stuff you can buy that doesn't leave you greasy. I'm, I'm, I think I did get some because I remember one time I, I asked them for something that I can put on my feet. So, But then when I go out, I don't want to dust, <laughs> dust collect up on the, on the cream. <laughs> that wouldn't be a good look, would it? Yeah, so... If you understand what I'm saying, I didn't, didn't want to be able to that to happen. Oh, look, there's a stamp. I wonder if I could put one of them in there somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> you could. Could if you wanted to, I suppose, Sonia. Now I cut that off there, didn't I? So I'm going to put that here. Am I happy with that or what? What's that bit there flying about? Still got that bit of pink on there, haven't we? Gee, it doesn't want to leave us. Okay. So that wouldn't be there in, in, in theory, would it? It would not be hanging there. Unless, of course, I need to put it more 
um, more stem, more stem. Maybe that doesn't need to be there at all because of the colour, not the colour because it's not in the picture. No, no, we'll just leave him sitting there for a minute. I need to stitch this down here a bit. Mm -hmm. I need to stitch this over. Yeah, I don't want big stitches there, so I've got to. Must be something I'll put over top of that. Gotta make it up there. Now I'm thinking about the leaf. I might even make a different one, I think. Don't know. I can pull these stitches out after if I want to. I just wanted it to put this down here so it wouldn't take off on me. Sorry, I got an itchy face. <laughs> Foot's gone to sleep. That can't be good, can it? I need to go on the doze. Can have a go. I do I have a piece of green leaf somewhere that I can use? <clears throat> Actually what I could I got these bits here. They, they look really nice, don't they? This is jazzy, this piece. It's a really nice piece to put on. Yeah, maybe next time. Maybe next time. Um, now, what I want to do, want to do around the edge of this. I think they'll pull that over there far enough. I don't know, it seems to be... I'll cut them out in a minute. Once I've sewed this down here, I can cut them out. Um, around the edge of this. Let's do something fancy, and hopefully we don't muck it up. But I need to c colour these too. I need to think about these are going to have to have colour in them. So I'll put those two pieces there with that bit, and I will find the thread that I want to do this with. So that'll be in a yellowy colour. Yellowy. That's a word, isn't it, Sonia? Okay, we've got this here bit sort of mustard colour that'll work and I got this is variegated so that might work alright you know I might have a go at that see how that works and then there's white in the bit under that so these are really nice threads that I bought from Spotlight a while back I got a nice bit of wool coming tomorrow from when I mean when Spotlight delivers, they said two to ten days it'd be shipped. Um, two to seven days. Um, I don't know about this needle. I think it'd be a bit thick. Yeah, go with this one. Something else different. Here we go. We got here. Nope. This one here looks pretty good. It's not too big and cumbersome. I hope this thread's alright. So I bought a pattern book with little patterns for little jumpers and cardigans and things like that, little beanies and all, all, all sorts of little things. And I bought some nice cotton wool. Cotton wool? It's cotton wool. <laughs> you know what I mean, don't you? Okay, so this bit here can go... Yellow, isn't it, the piece I've got, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so let's put some st stitches in the yellow. Oh well, maybe more to mustard colour, and that's okay. Dropped it. Sorry. 
smaller now in between those small stitch you're not going to want to fill it all in just part of it If I do this bit here and then show you what what I want to do around the edge of it, I think just we're just having a um, we'll have a little bit of an idea then what's the next day. I don't. So if those can be like that, so this is a little bit yellow too, but I'm going to try and I don't know what to put around these, but I'm going to do the pink pieces in there first. Then come back and have another go at that. Or will this be around the edge? Probably have to be around the edge. The yellow. Oh. It's not really got yellow around it. It's got a darker, that darker pinky colour. So maybe I'll use that on there. Yes, I'll do that. I'm just wiggling about. <laughs> just going to wiggle about. I'll use this on the, around the edge of it and see how it works. Now, <clears throat> there is lots of different things you can put on edges. So I want to look up. I want to look that up. Okay. I want to look that up. I've got a book here. <clears throat> Love it. Essential Stitches for Stunning Designs by Sharon Bogdan. And I, have, I just absolutely love this book. It has got all the stitches under the sun in it, look. But I need something to put on the edge of my flower. Look at this. It's delicious. Maybe if I go and look in the front or the back, it'll give me... Backstitch, the backstitch around there. No. Um, I don't know if this has got things for edging. We'll have to have another. Keep here the ideas in the front. So it's got all these bits, and then it tells you what pages are on there to do them. See, it's all, all it's a whole, a whole beautiful big book of. Oh, good things. Absolutely good things. But I need some edging on my flower. And I'm just going to have to do something. Somebody's going to have to do something. Let's have a look. If we can see something in this one here. She might have edges. Uh... This is by Jennifer Clausen and she has a YouTube channel that she's been putting bits on there. I don't know if she's got edging. The fasten down applique. Probably not. See any ideas? Can you see an idea? I might have to just go with what we know. See the neighbours over there doing some lipper snipping. Okay, so I'm just going to try and see if I can do this on me. <laughs> I guess, you know, the. Um, oh. My name is Stitch is probably, I okay, can't go too, too much further with this, it's nearly time up. Right, um, goodness me, I'll give you a couple of minutes and I hope it doesn't run out. So, uh, I'm on the edge, I'm on the edge. I think I might go with buttonhole stitch. It could be uh, stem stitch around it and then do something else. I might do the stem stitch, but I'll come back onto the material if that'll work. Onto there. 
Okay, go down in there and come back onto the material. What do you reckon? They're not too big now. Don't get too carried away, Sonia. Go down in there and come back on. Well, that looks good. That works. I like it. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Don't make them too big. Nobody wants lightning stitches. Oh dear, what have I done there? <laughs> lightning stitches, what I've done. I got went really wrong, didn't we? Let's do it smaller. Come on, we can do it smaller. We don't need these giant stitches. Let's have another go. <clears throat> and then I better go because I've got to... Before this cuts out. I know I had that thing turned on too far that... Oh yes, oh, it still says 17 minutes, so I've still got a bit to go because i got, it's about 8 or 9 minutes over the thing, over the time <laughs> that it broadcasts out. Let's try this again. Look, so I want to go down in there and come back up there, okay? Right, so go down there, just tiny, and back up there. Ouch. So this is sort of making a, a, not actually a stem stitch as much as it's a overcast sort of thingy. I don't know. I suppose this is what I want to do. So it makes it different. Mm, nah. It's not what I want to do. Blanket stitch. I'm going to go for the... <laughs> stick to what you know. That's the step -o step to motto. Here, it's started with our family anyway. Us and German girls, we stick to what you know. You know, as far as what the food, food and everything else you go to do. <coughs> and you won't be disappointed. Can venture out sometimes, I suppose. Okay, let's do this again. Now, I don't know about the buttonhole stitch either because I'm not a big fan of that as far as. Okay, let's just do a chain stitch on it. And then I can... Um, that's better. I like that better. I just didn't want to do it all the same, you know? I just didn't want to do the same things again. Now that looks good. I like that. I do like that. Now I'm trying to pick up both the pieces of fabric where I've ironed it on in the in the little flower. Okay, yes, that's better. And I'll go down the back now so that corner end bit will be held down. Then I'm going to come up again near it and start coming this way. Okay, because I just don't want to that bit to sit up on the corner. And it tends to do that when you're using this stitch. You get to your pointy pieces. There we go. Oh, that looks good. And now it's changing colour, and that's okay because this thing is very multicoloured, isn't it? It's plant. Whatever it is, it's a pretty plant. It's, it's got lots of colours in it. Oh, no. Yeah, and I still do like it, so that's good. We've gone this far and still like it. I'm going to have to. That's really thick. I think I've got a few pieces of I'm hemming this down a bit now and unravel it a tiny bit. Oh, look at that I missed there. If that doesn't stay there, there's nothing wrong with putting a bit of glue on it. It's lifting up again. It is. Now I'm going to go down in the back of there. I might go over there and put a stitch in that while I'm looking at it. See if I can fasten it down so it won't kick up again. I don't know what's going on with that. Put a stitch in there. You slip down, sit tight there and behave yourself. I don't know. Now we're going to come down along here. Oh, I don't know what colour, look at the colours, how it's changing. That's what, <laughs> that's what that other piece of cotton is, it's connected, so I'm what you're doing, okay? It's just connected what you're doing. 
nearly brown, isn't it? Looks good though. I think it does. You need some different things, don't you? You need some things that um, do more interesting stuff. Ouch! <laughs> that was different. Not really, I'm always jobbing myself with these things. Needle. This is a really good needle too. Put it somewhere where I won't lose it. Go down the back of there. I think that's going to look really good. Now, so it's only going to be this. That width, okay. That's it. It's not going to be any bigger. Don't need to be. Okay, so thank you everybody for watching. Please leave a comment, do a like, and all such things. And I will be back later with something else different <laughs> I'm still working on the stump work piece still working on the bead piece we're still working on the book cover piece that I'm doing and <laughs> we're still working on this piece and we got lots of work okay so thank you for watching and we'll talk to you later bye bye